Let's say we're asked to find the solution to the following equation. The fourth root of 3x plus 6 equals negative 3. We start by recognizing, as before, that we have a fourth root in the problem, so we need to take the fourth power of both sides. We need to raise both sides of the equation to the fourth power to cancel out the fourth root. When we do that, the left-hand side just gives us 3x plus 6 by itself, whereas the right-hand side, negative 3 to the fourth, gives us 81. This results in a linear equation, 3x plus 6 equals 81, which we can solve by subtracting the 6 over to the right-hand side. 81 minus 6 gives us 75. And finally, in order to isolate the x or solve for x, we can simply divide both sides by 3 to get x equals 75 over 3, which equals 25. Because we had an even index in this problem, 4, we have to check whether 25 is truly a solution to the equation or not. So we start by writing down the original equation we were given, and then substitute 25 for the x. Again, we're writing a question mark above the equal sign because we don't know that those two quantities are equal. We're trying to determine whether they are or that they're not. 3 times 25 yields 75. 75 plus 6 yields 81. So really, the whole problem on the left-hand side simplifies to the fourth root of 81, which we know to be 3. So now we are asked the following question, is 3 equal to negative 3? Well, it's not. So making that equality would be a false statement. So anytime you check the number that you get at the end of the equation, in the original equation, and you get a false statement, like we do right here, that number is not a solution. In some uh, contexts, it might be called an extraneous solution or a false solution. For our purposes, we're just going to say that x equals 25 is not a solution because we were not able to plug it into the original equation and get a true statement.